find all solutions, it means that find all possible values of x that satisfies this equation, x squared plus x minus 5 raised to the power of 2 plus the quantity x squared plus x minus 5 minus 5 equals x. Now pause this video right now and see if you can answer this question because I will show you the solution in 3, 2, 1. Alright, so given this equation, the goal is to find all possible values of x that satisfies this equation. So can be real number or complex number. Alright, so let's begin. First, we see a common term of x squared plus x minus 5. So what we're going to do is to let this expression be equal to another variable, and let's call this as y. Now, let's replace all of this expression with y. So our original equation becomes y squared. This is y squared plus y minus 5 equals x. Now, let's get this equation and compare them. And let's rearrange some terms a little bit. Let's put this y on the right-hand side of our equation. And now notice, these two equations, technically the same thing. The only difference is we have here y on the first equation. And we have here corresponding variable x on the second equation. So definitely we can say, using this, we can say that x equals y. Now, if x equals y, we can also solve for the value of x. So what we're going to do is to replace this y with x because we know y equals to x. And then subtract x on both sides. So we have x squared minus 5 equals 0. Now let's focus on this result and add 5 on both sides to get the value of x. Now get the square root on both sides and we get that x equals positive or negative square root of 5. So we found two possible values of x that satisfies this equation. Now, let's set aside this result. And now, we have two possible values of x, but we know we have x squared raised to the power of 2, so we have four values of x that satisfy this equation because the degree of this equation is simply equal to 4. So we have four values of x that satisfy this equation. So what we're going to do here to find the other two is to equate this to 0 like this. And then we know if we substitute x equals square root of 5 in this entire equation, this will give us 0 because x equals square root of 5 is a root of this equation. And also, what we can do here is to square on both sides and equate this to 0. Also, we know that x squared minus 5 is a factor of the entire equation. Now, what we're going to do here is to factor this entire equation because we know that one of its factor is x squared minus 5. So let's set aside this factor. And now, notice, we have here x squared and minus 5, x squared minus 5. So what we're going to do is to rearrange some terms a little bit because we know for sure x squared minus 5 is technically a factor of this entire equation. Now, let's simplify this a little bit. Cancel out positive x and negative x. This is just 0. Now, don't combine negative 5 and minus 5 because we know for sure we can factor this out later on, x squared minus 5. So now, let's group x squared minus 5 in this term, like this. And now, let's focus on this result. Now, let's expand this expression, x squared minus 5 plus x raised to the power of 2. So we have squared the first term plus 2 times the product of the first and the second term, plus square the last term. And then the rest is bring down. Next, what we're going to do is to combine this. We have x squared minus 5. So we have x squared minus 5. We have two of them. So we have bring down. This is bring down. This is bring down. And we have 2 times x squared minus 5. Now, technically speaking, we found this factor because we know from the start x squared minus 5 is a factor of this equation. So let's factor out x squared minus 5 like this. And then let's focus on this result. Now let's simplify. Let's combine like terms. 
we have negative 5 plus 2. This will give us negative 3. And there you have it. We factor this equation in the form x squared minus 5 multiplied by x squared plus 2x minus 3. But we're not done yet. Because x squared plus 2x minus 3 can be factored also as x plus 3 multiplied by x minus 1. Now, using the zero property, we can say that at least one of them must be equal to zero. So x squared minus 5 equals to zero. We know for sure we get the values of x equals positive or negative square root of 5. Now, if we let x plus 3 equal 0, we get x equals negative 3. And if we let x minus y equal 0, we get x equals 1. And there you have it. These are four values of x that satisfies this equation. So we have positive or negative square root of 5, negative 3, or positive 1. And of course, here's the checking. Now, as you can see, I use positive square root of 5 only. But if you plug in negative square root of 5, you arrive at negative square root of 5 equals negative square root of 5. All right, so again, post this video on this part to see the checking. And there you have it. Therefore, if we want to find all solutions in this equation, quantity x squared plus x minus 5 raised to the power of 2 plus x squared plus x minus 5 minus 5 equals x, then we found four possible values of x. We have positive or negative square root of 5, we have negative 3, and we have positive 1. And as always, we are done.